What is going on everybody today is going to be quite a bit of a different day. We're going to be going, well it's the last day in Africa here in Mozambique. Today we're going to be going 50 miles offshore. That is the plan at least. The wind is kicking so it might be kind of interesting to go 50 miles offshore. So this morning we're going to be going after GTs like we have been and then we're going to be going after Amberjacks later on and we brought some light tackle onto the boat so me and John can kind of change it up when we're doing some jigging action and we're going to be trying to target other species of fish for you guys. Chase, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Woo, it's chilly. American flag shorts for the win. There they are, there's some right there. Oh, there they are. Look at those little dolphins. Dude, look at them. I'd call that a, a group of dolphins. I don't really know what you, a herd. That's a herd of dolphins right there. I can actually still see, see the white? See right there, there it is. Oh, it's called a pod, a pod of dolphins. Look at them, look at them, look at them right here. They're actually getting caught closer. Look at him, look at him right here. Oh my gosh, what's up dolphins? Oh my gosh, yeah, I know, we're gonna be using this as bait. Jonah just caught it here a second ago. Dude, they're taking a weight and they're rubber, rubber banding it to its head. An eight ounce weight, is that an eight ounce weight? That is an eight ounce weight. With a hook to the face, hook in the side, hook in the side. Yeah. All right, PETA is gonna love this one. Well, John came up with an idea. We're gonna go ahead and challenge each other to the greatest duel in dueling history. We're gonna bring out these favorite rods. I'm using the Rush. He's actually got the new six stick. I don't even know if you guys even know these are They're out linked yet. in the description below. Always, they're always linked. Two piece. Exactly this is, two piece. Oh, this is a two piece version, no, yeah. It no longer has the microwave guide. It's got micro guides on top and then it also looks better too. Like you can actually yeah. see the text. They pretty much changed a ton of stuff with these rods, so. The better. John, John's gonna be messing with those and I'm gonna be using the Rush and then we're just gonna kind of have some fun jigging start this day off with very light tackle. Well, we're gonna call it light tackle for the Indian Ocean. Actually, it's very light tackle. Oh yeah, here we go. Dropping it down. Oh. <laughs> you want? No way. Yep. Oh, it's got to be something big. Oh, there we go. Please tell me it's one of those orange it's fish. <laughs> Let me be one of those orange fish. John, what's up, dude? All right, all right. Oh my God, they're <laughs> the dink of the dink. Wow, <laughs> we were supposed to use light gear to see if it could handle these fish, and it just owned that little guy. Oh, they don't. They, they taste pretty good. I, I would assume. Look at his eyes. He's just getting it. All right. Oh, wow. There we go. One to zero. Tunas. Tunas. Hooked up again. What? Hey. Dude, I've got the magic stick. Just imagine we catch something like with some actual girth to it, like a girthy son of a gun. Big girthy, juicy one. All right. Two zero. Two zero. Oh, hey, what's going on? I caught myself. Oops. Oh. No way. Yep. Better fish or no? No, nah, I think it's the same thing. Hey, we found all the rock cod. Oh, oh! rock cod. Boop. Three in. You're getting, you're getting wrecked by the Indian Ocean King right here. Ba, 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 out here in the Indian Ocean, jigging away, jigging away. Got a freaking marlin. All right, so let's get hooked up to the. So, all right, so if this goes in, I go in with it. Yep. That's what I like to hear. What is this? I just got all this back. <laughs> really? Oh, okay.
Sarah, if you're expecting to have any more kids soon. Not happening. The boys and the girls downstairs. Mainly my boys are not doing too well. We are almost two hours deep into this fight. I know I told you guys the other day that GTs were like the powerhouse. Ah, I never, I think I'm at my match right here. This thing is draining me. How long are we into this, John? How do you feel from the beginning to now? Like what, what's going through your head and how do you feel emotionally and physically? Physically? This sucks. Emotionally? Ah. I just want to catch this damn fish and put him on the wall. Well, my turn. We are three hours deep into this thing. The captain of the boat thinks that we may have fought this fish to its death, which is really common when fighting these fish. Uh, no big deal though, the, the meat will not go to waste no matter what. If it's dead, we still don't have an idea. But three hours deep and, and we're not moving it one bit. I mean, we got drag on like crazy and it's still pulling. I feel like, uh, I feel like I've been taken advantage of by a donkey. So we came to the conclusion that I actually got sharked. Um, Cause if it was a shark, I mean the bill, the bill on that thing would have torn this entire thing up. But uh, it's a clean cut, just straight through and through. Oh, yeah, three hours of just straight hell on my body for that. But it's no big deal, you know what? Let's, uh, what time we got? Two o'clock, we got like three hours of GT fishing, right? Yep, well, gonna yeah. get a big one. Gonna go after GTs, thank God I have probably no body body strength after that oh man what the hell peter uh, i'm regrouping real quick after i just had that glorious protein bar give you keeping that what do i always say like positive mental attitude but he he's showing me something really interesting he actually has an idea where that fish had died i'm gonna show you guys real quick okay we did it over here yeah fighting 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 and he started staying in one spot and that's when you knew it died. But that circle's going around it, if you see. Well, what were you, you were trying to lift it up right there, right? Yup. So pushing it against the current to lift it up. So that's what he was doing, those bigger circles, trying to actually lift it up out of the water. But then it got, got that one painful surprise of being sharked at the end. It's no big deal. You know why? Because now we're just about to go pop some uh, big old giant lures for some GTs. John's... Can't find my glasses. Oh. Let's do this. Let's do this. My body is sore. Oh, oh, oh. GT, GT, GT. All right, we're good. Away, John. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh, I just crossed you. Oh, my God. I had the entire Indian Ocean and I crossed you. See if we can make it happen still. I'm actually, this is, the, the one that I caught my actual GT on floated. This one's a sinking walking bait. What would we say, what would we say, a wake, like, almost like a, a wake bait? Uh, 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 like a, oh, I would call it a, a glide bait? Yeah, this is pretty much like a glide bait or a twitch bait or something like that. It's a big version of that. This video has taken, well, it's taken many different turns. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We originally started off the morning right down there, and we were going to be doing nothing but going after GTs with poppers. Things kind of went, well, they went differently. We went, we started doing some little jigging. We were trying to actually go after, like, they have a, a certain way to catch in, like, giant GTs here, I guess. 
and I know that they hooked into something giant and it took it into the reef and broke it off. I didn't put that on camera because it just was kind of, it was quick, fast, and we're just saying zick is what happened. But I'm gonna say this right now, John and I did a little bit of a quick jigging challenge, I guess you would say, with light tackle here in the Indian Ocean. And well, I won. I'm the king of the Indian Ocean, except for the marlins. As you guys found out, marlins are one hell of a fish and uh, so are sharks. But it's all good, you know what, they think that that one was around 400 pounds. I mean, you guys saw a jump, it was amazing footage. So, if you guys want to come do this in Africa, if you guys want to go into fishing, bass fishing, doesn't really matter. I'll leave the link to the people you can contact. They'll help you with lodging, airfare, everything you want to do like that. That's what they do. They're, they're good people, you can trust them. I may sound a little bit winded. It's because I'm, I'm walking up a, a big old hill. With these GTs, I'm telling you guys right now, I am so thankful I caught one on the first day because they are just nothing but a pain. John and I were talking that we are really going to figure out where we can go to catch, I don't know. We don't really know what to do with that because we just want to catch a bunch, like a ton. You know what I mean? Like going on a, a GT frenzy. <sighs> well, that's it. That's it from Africa, guys. Hope you guys enjoy these videos because you guys know what's about to come right now. If you guys haven't seen that one, click on that one. If you haven't seen that one down there, and then click on that one. If you have not subscribed, then please do so. Other than that, I love every single one of you guys. You know what? I'm probably going to see you tomorrow, and I'm about to disappear. <laughs>